welcome to the Make Life Fun Show. I'm your host, Josie Wheatman, and I am so excited that you're here. I have graduated the mom game. I have been in it now for almost a year. Can you believe it? Everett is walking. Wow, it's a whole new game. Through the last 25 episodes, I have learned so much and I have grown in my craft. I have grown as a mom. And the biggest thing I've learned is just love, 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 taking it in, giving it out, love, and being in the present moment with my son and continuously just giving him my regulated self as often as I can. And that is what's changing the game in motherhood. That is what's breaking my generation of parenting. If you are new to listening, you are in for a treat. Welcome back to the Make Life Fun Show. I have a treat for you today. We have Mary Gooden on the show, and she is here to talk to us all about loving ourselves deeply, all about how powerful we truly are if we can only allow ourselves to tap into that power. We've already had this conversation earlier, and I am just so delighted to have you here, Mary, to share your wisdom and your story with our listeners today. So please welcome. Thank you, Josie, for having me. I am really so delighted to be here as part of what we were speaking about. It's just so magical that we have this opportunity in the human experience to find one another and connect with one another on such a deep level, even through the screen, you know, to feel each other and to feel our humanness Mm -hmm. is a wonderful representation to me that we are in the very deepest levels of love mm-hmm. because we're, we're so open and vulnerable that we can feel one another yeah. without having the physical presence, which has yeah. been such a huge part of my journey over the last several years. So I'm glad that we get to talk about it today. Yes, me too, Mary. So I would love for you to tell our listeners what is lighting you up about life right now. Tell us a little bit about yourself. The floor is yours. Oh, what lights me up so much. The biggest thing that truly lights me up is that that knowing that we are going to see version and a beautiful presentation of living a life of unconditional love in my lifetime. And I hear that through through my guides every moment of every day that we are actually going to get to see this place of humanity, the heart of humanity, which I represent and stand for. So as uh, Josie said, my name is Mary Gooden. I am the CEO and founder of Divine Destiny Publishing. I am a fully embodied channel for the divine feminine Christ consciousness. Mm -hmm. I am an open, willing, and committed human and bringing in these very beautiful heaven on earth codes. Mm -hmm. I believe that abundance thrives in our ability to stay authentic and aligned. And the more that we go and we allow ourselves to be seen inside, to do this inner clearing, this inner work, and we align with our self-acceptance, our self-trust, and our self-love, we see that change right in front of us every day. I am an avid storyteller, so I love sharing stories. I love hearing stories. I love creating platforms for others to share their stories and with the globe, all over the globe, because we know. We know our mission is global and we know that what transpired over the last several years of this evolution of humanity was to show us that very Mm -hmm. truth that we are living in a global, expanding, collective consciousness and the new earth leadership is here Mm -hmm. and it is love. Mm -hmm. Oh, and it is love indeed. So earlier we were speaking about how you, you bring these books to life with multiple authors. I would love for you to tell that story again, how it magically sort of works its way in that wonder. Yeah, this is, this is what I love to call the VIP experience. Truly it is Uh, everything that I I get to offer as a vessel, as a service, as a soul is a done for you service. Mm -hmm. And I love that. One way it came across is when I, when I first aligned with uh, the practices and the teachings of yoga over 20 years ago is I get to teach to all levels. I get to serve all levels, which is a big power for me. And now that I'm, I'm feeling the full embodiment of this divine, divine channel, it makes sense. But multi-author books is one of one of my experiences that actually allowed me to open my heart 
and stand on a global stage and basically and say, this is who I am and this is what I came to share. And this is part of the journey of my life. You know, and it's the deep stuff that that showed me who I was and asked me to be a wave, to be a ripple, to be a voice of triumph and to be an inspiration Mm -hmm. so that everyone can feel safe, supported and loved. And that's how it started for me. I wrote my first story in a book called Phoenix. Eight months later, I became the vessel of Divine Destiny Publishing, which we create now the multi-author books. And uh, the current one we're we're filling right now, there's two. One is about soul parenting. Those people that have been chosen to be a solo parent, a soul, Mm -hmm. soulful parent. And the other one, uh, Josie and I were talking a little bit about is about divine love. People sharing inspirational stories of radical self-acceptance that has aligned them with their truth and transformation. But this experience was huge for me. And it's been huge for everyone that I've linked arms with uh, doing just that. Here I am. This is who I am. And these are the gifts of experiences that have led me to know this is who I am. And this is what I have to share. And the VIP is visibility, impact, and prosperity, which are the three powerful pillars that allow us to serve our mission and an effortless and I like to say fun and playful way. <laughs> and and I'll, I hold your hand through the whole thing. And again, for me to be able to, to do that, I just, you know, life is so magical. And when we can serve in our gifts and our purpose in such a way, it brings me nothing short of joy and bliss to hear somebody else's story and to see how they're shining their light in the world. And that itself is such a gift to be able to stand in your power and say, this is who I am. This is what I was put here to do. And I know a lot of our listeners dabble in and out of that. This is what I'm called here to do, but it's almost too big. It's almost feels too scary. And I feel like you are the person, the perfect person to speak on this because you are, you have such a big vision and you're walking in it and you're living it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we talk about that. I have a podcast too titled Shine Your Soul Light and sharing these voices, but we do, we get to live it. This is a true experience. This is Mm -hmm. true that if we can, if you can take this time, there's three things that I'll share with you today. These are my Mm non-negotiables to living the very best life. And the first non-negotiable, number one, connect with yourself every single day. It's daily connection. Mm -hmm. I don't leave my house without connecting to my higher consciousness, my I am presence, my God source divine, whoever that is for you. Don't get wrapped up in, well, I don't believe in. Figure out who it is, who your inner most conscious voice is, who your loving light temple is, that voice, that person, that alignment, and tap into that. And uh, this is not me giving you another thing to add to your list of doings. This is a gift that is going to increase the amount of time you get to spend in being. And now the way that I'll bring this down to an easier, maybe, you know, to lead to all levels. This is a reflection of me saying to you, if you don't have a daily practice or, or if you've not even considered this, would you leave the house without pants on? (laughs) would you walk out the door and head off to work or wherever without putting pants on? Because that's the way that this is my daily connection is. Mm -hmm. It's like, if I don't do it, I am running outside naked. Now that could be fun, (laughs) 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 you know, and, and, and let's do that. This is what just came through saying like the freedom of a child, right? You know, connecting yourself daily is bringing yourself back to that inner certainty, that inner wisdom, that inner knowing. And for me, it's, that's my eight-year-old child, Mm -hmm. the one that believes in the infinite possibility. And this is true. If I am willing to connect with who I am, everything that I'm desiring and I deserve is going to magnetize towards me because I am the daily connection practice is me accepting myself. Mm -hmm. It's, it's one in the same. Now, how do I do this quickly without spending my whole day or adding another big chore to my list? First of all, it might seem like that, but I guarantee you a week, a week into daily connection, you're going to be spending five, 10, 20, 
30 minutes in this thing because you're going to watch life transition right before your eyes. In that moment where you're rustling before you actually physically say, okay, I've got to get out of these warm blankets. <laughs> put your hands on your heart, you know, just, just put them there. This is going to take 15 seconds. Show me the way today. What is mine to share? Ta-da! Just asking the universe, God, source, divine, just asking your heart to show me the way today, what is mine to share? Do you see how fun and playful that could be? Yeah. It certainly isn't me saying, can you please, please, please show me how to get thus and so done? Or it, it's not bringing me back to anything other than what is mine to share today? What is my purpose today? doesn't matter six months down the line right now. What matters, am I willing to connect with myself daily? Because in that, the invitations that lead you to the innermost desire mm -hmm. just show up in front of you. This is true. It does sound like magic and miracles. Guess what? If you read in some of the older, the ancient scriptures and the older scriptures, you will find some passages. You will find them in there that say magic and miracles do exist. Mother Mary miraculously was impregnated with Jesus, miraculously. And I understand that perhaps many things in the, the platform and the, the old energetic paradigm that we were in would tell us that that was impossible. Mm -hmm. Guess what? It's true. She miraculously created Jesus in her belly. It's true. <laughs> you know, these things do exist. Number two. All right. Number two. That was a fun story. So I'm mm -hmm. always like, thank yes, you guys, thank uh, you. you know, <laughs> thank, <laughs> thank you, you for the simplest of reminders of what really we are living in. Number two, non-negotiable, daily movement, daily movement. If I get up and I shake some things out, this could be walking in nature. This, I call it frolicking. You might call it jogging mm -hmm. or running, <laughs> you know, yoga, movement, Tai Chi, anything, anything that gets your body moving. Not vigorous. I mean, you can move it vigorous. I like that too. But anything that gets you moving, you know, a couple of sun salutations with breath, breath work, anything that gets the stagnation in your energy body moving, right? So we've played with that idea of daily connection and connecting to our mind and our heart presence. But now we have to move out anything that that's ready to go. You know, the long and short of it, we know how that goes. When we stop moving, we stop moving. And you can look at that from an energetic place too, not just the physical movement. There's an energy body that, you, that exists in you and around you. And if you stop moving, you stop moving. Things stop moving towards you, right? Things get further and further away. So daily movement, seeing things. One way I love to play on days is how can I stimulate and activate all five of my senses mm. and my sixth sense? Right? right? How can I do fun things to activate these parts of me and get moving? 10, 15 minutes is all it takes. Five minutes worth of breath work, even if you're, if you're starting to integrate. Three minutes worth of breath work, 10 deep breaths. Mm -hmm. You're moving the stagnant energies in your body. I understand that the physical method of movement was definitely something that we've learned over this li these lifetimes. But I do recognize that we were not taught about the energy, the energy body, and how that physical movement is really more important for getting our energy body flowing than it is for creating lean muscle mass. <laughs> so I have a personal trainer in me too. So <laughs> I love to, to play with those fun things. But yeah, so daily movement, daily connection is number one. Daily movement is number two. So after I set and receive my intentions for the day, yes, I get to set some intentions. I get to ask for what I want. And also I get to receive what the universe wants from me, right? This, this balance of give and receive. I go out and I move. I either go walk in nature, a quick walk, a breath work session. I do still teach on a fitness platform. So sometimes I get to go move with others. Uh, but I move, I work it into my day and I try to get it into my morning because some of you will recognize if you've ever started an exercise program or a movement program, how good you felt. Mm -hmm. And yeah, sometimes we fall off the wagon, but reflect back to a time where you remember starting that and it felt good because it does feel good. Mm -hmm. Your body loves it, loves, loves, loves. So that's number two. Number three, all of these are my favorite. Not one of them takes priority mm -hmm. over another. 
Number three is daily celebration. I'm not going to wait till my 40, 47th birthday a year from now, because I just, I'm a Leo. So I just celebrated to celebrate again. I'm going to celebrate who I am and who I am becoming every single day. And you know what else? I'm probably going to do it multiple times mm -hmm. a day. And not only am I going to celebrate it and am I going to dance and leap around my, my home, I'm going to get in connection with my friends like Josie, those that I know are fun celebrators, and I'm going to celebrate with them. And not for a minute is anybody that surrounds me or that I surround myself with going to think that I'm boasting mm -hmm. or being vain because that that is those two words, arrogance, we're going to add that third word in there just for fun. Those three vibrations, the only reason that they exist is to keep us small. And that is true. Those vibrations only exist from, you know, if you believe in good or evil or whatever you believe in, to keep us small and hidden and in a place where we don't feel like we should celebrate because not everybody has it this good, or they're just going to think I'm bragging. And I just have to throw the BS flag on that because, mm -hmm. because we've lived that we've tried that, you know, over the last 20, 30, 40 years, we've played that game of not, not standing in our accomplishments, mm -hmm. not patting ourselves on the back, not celebrating that we are willing to take the next step into our mission, into our purpose, mm -hmm. or into just sharing an, a higher frequency of unconditional love. Oh, I love those three things that you shared. They are non-negotiable and it makes the world of difference when you make them non-negotiable, when you make them that they have to be done. Like you can't, like you said, can't leave the house or else you're going to go out the house naked. And so I empower you that is listening to write this down, put it somewhere where you can see it every day and start to put that into practice. Like Mary says, you will see your life change right before your eyes. It's just a miracle. It's magical what happens. And you get to, you get to create that for yourself. Yes, you get to. That's so true, Josie. Thanks for bringing that back. We get to choose every single thing right down to the morsel. You can pretend all you want to that you don't, but remember, you're just pretending. Yeah. You get to choose. You get to choose joy and bliss every single day. One thing that wants to be shared through that too, and I don't know, this came through something I was working on yesterday, but uh, there's this place of intention. And sometimes we don't know what we want, right? Because we're in the middle of a transition. Uh, and I just offer you to replace the words, I don't know, with I surrender. I let in. I allow. I surrender. That was just so some magic that was moving through my vessel. <laughs> that is some magic. And it is so true that sometimes we say we don't know. And what you're saying is we're pretending not to know because we always know the answer. And so when you're saying this, I surrender, I let in, I allow, you get to mm -hmm. <laughs> receive the you, message that you need to hear. Mm -hmm. You get it. You get to receive it. Yeah, I think that that little boundary we put up of, with the I don't know is is fear. You know, it's a little mm -hmm. scary. I, the, the answer that I'm receiving is scary. And it's, you know, it's asking me to do something that I've never done before. I mean, hello, shouldn't we label that as excitement instead of yes. discomfort? Change yes. your labels, change your mm -hmm. words. That is exciting. Anytime that there is a flicker and a flutter of I've never done this before. Yeah. What a gift. And that's a powerful reframe because we do sometimes label it as fear, but excitement and fear, they live hand in hand together. And I often say that that fear that we feel is almost love for ourselves. Our body's like, I love you so much. It's something we've never done before. Like, I just love you and I'm trying to protect you. And that's when you can hold that hand and say, yes, but we're excited and we're going to do it. Thank you for showing me where I can lean in to love a little bit more. Mm. I love that. You just gave me that vision of the two, the, the duality of fear and love and me just holding hands coming mm -hmm. into unity. And we, we leap together. Yes. We leap together. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's beautiful. <laughs> and, and the visuals definitely help us, especially as for me, as a woman, like the visual for me is huge when I could put paint the picture it helps lead me and guide me into taking those action steps that may be a little fearful. And so as we move on, you were talking about how you, you bring together these creative souls that 
author in this, the books that you have written. And one of them was the revolutionary leaders was one of the books that you have written. And at the beginning of the year, I made this declaration that I am a leader, period. And I am a leader. And as I started reflecting on that, that I am statement of affirmation, I am a leader, I will lead and I will not follow, I will be the leader. It meant to me that I will go first. Like I will be the first one in my family to be in this consciousness, to be, allow myself to be this vessel. And what I found is as I was putting that out there, it felt like the armpit sweating, the, like, it felt like that. And so I would love for you, cause you've already so embodied it and you've already so in it. I would love for you to speak on that a little bit. Cause I think you can relate 100%. Mm, I can feel yes. it. <laughs> it's so fun because uh, the, just this morning, this is how much fun life is for me. Just this morning during my morning frolic, what was coming in is an offering titled platinum presence, mm. new earth leadership. <laughs> So it's fun to speak on that because the last book that Divine Destiny created to number one international bestselling in July was Revolutionary Leadership. And this was epic. This was humans, extraordinary humans creating epic change on earth by leading through that leadership of the new earth, of the way that they believe outside of anybody's belief that they believe in themselves. And this is the way that they lead. And what was really powerful about this title and about what we're all learning about new earth leadership is that we can stand in our beliefs, even especially when we believe in something different, mm. yet we can link arms and still raise the vibration yeah. together. That particular project also showed me a deeper level of how it is so important for us to move away from the divide, this division. Mm -hmm. Again, I have, it's not saying you can't have your own opinion, but it doesn't mean that we have to saturate our opinion with everybody and everyone. Mm -hmm. I can still build a relationship with somebody who has a different opinion than yeah. I do. In fact, I would rather, because again, we're just connect. It's like connecting all these beautiful frequencies together. We weren't, we didn't come here to serve in the same exact point of the mission. We all have different nuggets, yeah. but I loved that project for that reason. And what moved through my vessel was I believe in you, no matter what you believe in that's unconditional love. But that project was a great collaboration of 20 amazing and inspiring authors all over the globe. And, uh, what I wrote in there was um, Anchor Your Light. I talked about a lot of my practices on anchoring into who I am mm -hmm. so that I can stand in my beliefs yeah. and I can receive everyone else with unconditional love, yeah. especially when they believe in something different. But the biggest part of this revolutionary leadership or this new age leadership is number one for this from the self-acceptance perspective is the reminder we are the light of the world. You and I are the light of the world. This is the truth. And we have to be able to love one another unconditionally in our differences, for our differences, mm -hmm. so we can be that light. Yeah. Like, yeah. Ah. And so what I love about these collaborative books also is that just like magic does with everything else is all the right people show up in the, the project. All the right people that came here to activate one another, to collaborate with one mm -hmm. another, to forge a new path together, they always show up in each one of these projects. And uh, it has been one of the most fascinating parts for me to witness. Yeah. I am the vessel that calls them in, the titles, the subtitles, the energies. And it's just as if I open my hands and these beautiful humans show up in front of me. Mm -hmm. And some, like you said, that, oh my gosh, I just last week felt guided to write a story of this. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, this is what I'm talking about with daily connection. Because all of a sudden, if I'm connected and I'm present in my day, somebody says something and it goes along with the guidance I received last week or last month or earlier in the year. And it's exactly the vehicle that I need mm. to move my needle into mm. the next into the next level or to the next timeline or to whatever it is that you're wanting to expand visibly, wherever it is you're wanting to create more impact, wherever it is that you're calling in more prosperity, more of your life freedom and your birthright of abundance. Because again, the new earth leadership is a collaborative movement. 
and so that good. is yeah <laughs> it's so good and I, yeah, it's so good. I'm just going to move on to the next question. So as we move, <laughs> yeah, like I don't even have anything to add. It was just brilliant. Thank you. So in your experience, people are not leaning into that confidence. They're not leaning into that self-trust. Is there a way, I know you gave us some of the three amazing tools that is going to help us for sure, but that self-confidence piece and that self-trust piece is something that I think is the catalyst to moving Mm -hmm. us into where we want to go. So I think the first thing I want to share about that is this is a solar plexus energy. So I'm a Reiki master. I have been for 15 years. So I work with energy Mm -hmm. and this is the belly. This is the belly energy. This is where the ego lives. This is where the teeter totter of life Mm -hmm. is. This is where we have to bring it back down into the the stomach of things. Mm -hmm. It's one of our biggest and most powerful energies because if I don't trust myself, I'm not going to take the next step. Mm -hmm. If I don't have the confidence, I'm not going to take the next step. Mm -hmm. I have a beautiful mantra, just even a saying that can continue to help you reframe this idea that your trust is not an inner job. Your confidence is already inside of you. And it really is simply the repetition of, I am more than enough. Mm -hmm. I am more than enough. If you're connecting with yourself daily, the self-trust piece is already going to automatically begin to balance itself because what you're calling in or what your intentions are, the universe is going to show you, which is just the practices, the inspired action Mm -hmm. is going to lead you to trust and confidence. So saying it just outright, you have to be willing to do or take action regardless of the outcome. And I'll tell you, it's the expectations of life that get in the way of our trust. Another thing that really helped me, and mostly it's affirmation, mostly it's just reframing because the trust and confidence is in there. It's just covered with layers of old, insignificant, and I'm going to say that word, experiences. Mm -hmm. It truly, truly, truly it is. You have to come to face that that every experience we hold on to is like putting a, a shield or a screen over our mm-hmm. self-trust because we're we're looking at something from a point of view that somebody else perhaps has experienced because a lot of it is what somebody what happened to somebody else mm-hmm. that stops us from allowing ourselves to step forward. The yes. other thing that's really good and again I like to give practical things mm-hmm. tapping just tapping it, just tapping. I'm tapping out limiting beliefs. Mm. I'm tapping out limiting beliefs, just a repetition of that. And I know this may seem silly for those of you that want some kind of handbook or you want some kind of magic pill. That is all, all just illusion Mm -hmm. that, that those things work. These really funny and silly things I'm rewiring my energy and my frequency. I'm uncovering this beautiful crystal ball of trust Mm -hmm. by doing the tapping, by the words that I'm speaking to myself, by the actions that I'm taking, by the way that I'm setting myself up for the limiting beliefs. Nothing, not one experience is meant to duplicate itself. Mm -hmm. It is only because we think that it's going to, that Mm -hmm. it will. So if you let go of all those, like cutting the cords behind you, I'm cutting the cords of illusion. I'm cutting the cords of limiting belief. I'm letting go of the experiences that no longer serve me. If you say that too, just like our daily connection, if you just say, I'm ready to let go of all that no longer serves me. I mean, you're asking me how I got to where I am. And there wasn't, there was more connection to self than there was anything else. Mm -hmm. And again, everything just started showing up. Uh, The other thing is I seek value in everything. Every Mm -hmm. single thing that moves towards me has a value, period. Mm -hmm. It has a beautiful value and I'm open to receive it. I don't have to prejudge anything. That's what we do with our old stuff, right? We prejudge. Clearing that and stepping into your confidence is taking inspired action with your instinctual guidance. Again, the daily practice is going to get you there. Even if it's 30 seconds of show me the way today, what is mine to share? I trust myself completely. Boom. I'm going to put my pants on and go out the door. This is the new earth leadership. Mm -hmm. The old earth leadership is go do something. Earth leadership says, come on inside. Mm -hmm. Let's be something. Yes. And the being is where magic happens. It's the thing that we have to, we have to be before we can do. We have to. And so for the longest time, what I heard, you just have to be, just be. It sounds way too easy, right? Because we think it needs to be hard in order for it to be meaningful and mean something. And so- as you're speaking of just being, that is the connection piece. And it doesn't have to take very long. 
And when you're in the being, that's a great place because you're, you're already tuning in. That's a great place to work with your reframing words. Mm -hmm. I trust myself wholeheartedly. I mean, because let's get really serious just for a second. Write down all the reasons why you don't trust yourself. Mm -hmm. And I guarantee you, you're going to, you know, even writing them down because I'm in publishing, writing is so powerful at mm -hmm. healing things. And as you're writing them, recognize that these were gifts for you so that you could use them as inspiration. Mm -hmm. So rewrite them as inspiration. Mm -hmm. How has this made me capable to share this? Because everything has, has been an activator for you. Mm -hmm. And that too, a lot of the emotional energies down here in the solar plexus, think of your emotions as activators. Mm -hmm. They're not enemies, they're activators. Yeah. I get to cry, I get to cry, that's an activation. Crying is really so much just releasing energy. Mm -hmm. It truly is just releasing energy. And the only reason we believe otherwise is for reasons like this. Big girls don't cry. Yeah. Why are you crying? Stop mm -hmm. crying. <laughs> that, we, yeah. that we stop ourselves yeah. because somebody once said, and somebody once said, didn't recognize that this is an energetic release because they never taught us about the energetic releases of our emotions. They taught us that our emotions needed to be hidden. They didn't teach us that our emotions are simply activators because yeah. really, again, here comes some truth. Once you've had a good cry, you feel light as a feather. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So trust, trust the emotions that want to move through you. Create enough space and grace for yourself to, to allow anger. All these things are okay. Anger is okay. We just work on letting them release from us. Yeah. Yes. Uh, with practical things. Tapping, tapping it out. You have power. Tap it out of you. Tap out the, the old experiences. You don't have to label everyone. You don't have to go to the depths of every negative experience mm. to release the shadow of it. Mm. Some of them might require that, but not every single one of them. Yeah. You know, look at it, send it off with love and compassion mm -hmm. and, and move forward. Mm, so good. So good. And giving us that tool of tapping, like you were saying that it's so powerful to know that we are the medicine. You are the medicine. Like you can't heal yourself. If you do these things that you were saying may seem silly, may seem like they wouldn't work. Just give them a go and put them into practice and see for yourself. You know, what I say to a lot of my clients and my friends and even whoever shows up in front of me when I'm in my excitement and something just blurps out like, oh, you should try this. What do you have to lose anyway? Mm -hmm. What really do you have to lose? Yeah. There is one thing that we know is true. We came here to serve a purpose. Mm -hmm. Each and every one of us, a different, unique, and magnificent purpose. And every experience that moves towards us is a gift in order for us to be activated to the next beautiful and joyful place of purpose. Yeah. What do you have to lose? Mm -hmm. Walk through life with dignity and grace. And just enjoy the journey. Yeah, it is. It's about the journey and you get to create it moment by moment, day by day. And Mary, you've given us such beautiful tools, such beautiful ways to connect with ourselves, to be with ourselves, to love up on ourselves. Cause that's basically what it is. We're loving ourselves into life. And I would love for you to tell a bit of your story, Mary, that what got you to, <laughs> what got you to be this Mary that can just speak life to us like this. Mm. Oh gosh. <laughs> I've had quite a few pivotal moments in my life, quite a few pivotal moments, but the one that really, really activated me was, it was my divorce. And after 25 years with the same human, after playing it safe and, and waiting to have children and trying really to avoid all of the unnecessary experiences or what I thought were not necessary experiences mm -hmm. in the life. I was hit. I was, I was gifted with that kind of activation where after 25 years, there was a, a dissolution of long marriage that created two beautiful girls, women, shall I say that two are the light of the world. What it did, you know, I believe our children choose us. And what that did is exactly the reason that they chose me. It activated me into a much deeper level of wanting to know who I was and wanting to connect with thy will mm -hmm. instead of my will. And that was powerful. In that 
experience before and during I let go of my corporate role. Mm. I shape shifted everything. I literally sold everything that we had in one location from Virginia Beach and we moved to New Orleans. Mm. And the nine years that I've had a place in New Orleans have also activated me mm. to some really deep layers of being able not only to heal myself, but to heal the land mm. and to heal others around me. But That was the biggest. And then just moving through that, being a a sole parent, Mm -hmm. it was the activator of unconditional love for me. Mm -hmm. I can look back at all these experiences, custody battles, splitting and sharing, and but watching all the magic transpire before my eyes for for some wonderful and amazing reason. It was all just a setup and everything that made it easy to flow through, it did happen, but it was a heart cracking open, cracked my heart open. Uh, I was 30, 38 years old. So it was not really too long ago. Now I have always been very conscious and very connected to who, to I am and my divine source in that way. But I too was a product of the third dimension in a way that I was striving to accomplish the role of female CEO in a very striving environment in my masculine energy. And it wasn't until I said, there is a little girl in here that wants to come out and play. It's the feminine energy is the way that I look at the dualities in us. And uh, that experience really just busted me. And now I I call, so I do have a husband, I do have a a current husband, but as all these experiences shape-shifted me and I started to align with I will, magic, magic happened. I have a magnificent partner who supports my mission that has moved me to Sedona. And so I don't even live with my partner right now. One of my daughters stays in New Orleans with her father, my husband. One of my daughters has the beautiful opportunity to be here in Sedona, Arizona Mm -hmm. at 19 years old and connecting with this beautiful essence of, of great mother energy and ancient ancestor wisdom. But that really was it. I allowed my heart to crack open because I knew if there was one thing that I came here to do, it was love and love hard. Mm. And without having the experience of, of that 25 fear relationship, I mean, that was my forever, right? Being, being released, I would not have discovered this greater love that I am. So it was a gift. My divorce was the biggest, one of the biggest gifts in this lifetime. And I just kept on, I just kept on with my daily practice. And I'll be honest with you, my daily practice, my daily commitment to discovering the very best of what I came here to share with the world has brought me every single dream that I ever had has come into fruition into a place that just last year I was, I met a woman in South Africa because I have a global community now that I got really vulnerable and shared that story. That was my first story in a multi-author book project, my divorce and what, what it created for me. I was standing at the door of Akashic Wisdom Like, I don't know what to ask for that. Mm -hmm. I don't know, right? I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. All of my dreams have come true. Mm -hmm. And as she opened Akasha, what came through was if you stop dreaming, your clients stop dreaming. Mm -hmm. So you need to learn to dream bigger. And I thought, you know, that's the universe saying, what do you want? (laughs) <laughs> and so what moved through me at that moment really was, was this, this vision of temples, these temples, and I will explain them to you here and now they were these open air, three-sided temples made of bamboo, beautiful bamboo. Mm-hmm. And there's one just beautiful entrance. There's benches inside anybody in the world, eight open air temples all across the globe. Anybody can walk into these temples that I am energetically holding space for in my morning ritual every day that they can just receive the highest frequencies of unconditional love, grace, and compassion. And that I am to lead as the heart of humanity and to create these places all over, uh, eight of them only, but starting with the first one here in Sedona, I've been nursing this land up the street with crystals and these all my flowers that sit with me during the week while we're in conversation of new age leadership and unconditional love, all those take the vibration up to the land. So this is one of my mission projects. And I have, I share the story because uh, that's what I came here to do. I'm sharing the story that magic and miracles to exist. So I know these temples come into fruition. And the more that we talk about the things that we want to see come into fruition, the faster they come into our life. 
it magically happens for us. But that was the cracker of my unconditional love. And I too get to points in this part of my purpose where, oh, what, what now? And I do go to Akashic wisdom or to, to divine some, we came here to collaborate together. We activate something in one another. Yeah. So at moments where I need to be activated, the right person shows up to activate me. That That's just it. That's one of the bigger ones, but everything, everything that I could have desired and more than is in front of me in every moment. There's, it's, it's beautiful and it's wild and it's radical. And it is exactly what they meant when we heard the words, abundance is your birthright. Mm -hmm. And the moment that you truly go inside and explore and discover and shine is exactly who you are unapologetically, you're there. Everything in life happens just for you. Yeah. Oh, such magical words and spoke right to my soul. I felt them. I received them. Thank you. Thank you so much for sharing that story with us. And the way you framed it, the way you spoke it as an activation and as it was your gift is such a profound way to look at the things that we're moving through in life. Because if we can look at it in that way, then we can look for the healing. We can look for the lessons. We can look for the blessing. And when we look for that, we get more of it, right? Because our thoughts create our reality and we create our reality. So the way you spoke it is just so profound in itself that that was just amazing for me to hear it and for our listeners to hear it as well. And at this point of our conversation, I would love for you to tell our listeners where they can get more of this goodness, where they can connect with you. <laughs> I love that. So it's really easy because why not let it be easy? Let it be fun. Marygooden.com. M-A-R-Y-G-O-O-D-E-N.com. I invite you to visit the website because instantly you'll get a pop-up to a free energy aligning meditation that I have created. That is a beautiful visual experience of how you can connect with your energetic set points mm -hmm. and how you can connect with your higher consciousness. Mm -hmm. So all of that daily kind of connection, there is a beautiful freebie there, a free freebie there for you to take. It's 22 minutes mm -hmm. to take 22 minutes and just simply receive. And that's the practice and the art of receiving is sitting and allowing it in, right? And why mm -hmm. is it so hard? Why do we make mm -hmm. it so hard? We can make it mm -hmm. so easy. And that's what mm -hmm. this conversation has lit up on me is we can make it so easy for ourselves. And this is the point of the conversation where I give you the floor after having this brilliant conversation. If there's anything left on your heart to speak to these beautiful listeners, these mompreneurs, these moms that are on their own journey, right? To discover who they are. Mm. Let it be easy and let it be fun. Mm. Write that on your bathroom mirror. Mm. Look at it every single day. Mm. Let it be easy. Let it be fun. Let it be easy. Let it be fun. This is, there is no difference between anything. There is no, nothing that stands in the way of anything that we desire. That is an old thought process. That is, that is having a switch that is off. Flip the switch to on and let it be easy. Let it be fun. You don't have to do anything aside mm -hmm. from seeing it and reading it to yourself. And I will tell you that the most wonderful experiences will show up in your life just by simply stating those words. That is one of the, the main ingredients to this journey. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Like you said, it's a journey. Remember that often. This is simply just a journey. That's why it's easy for me to call everything a gift. It's just the journey. It's the path. We've made it through and we'll continue to make it through. Yeah. Oh, so powerful, Mary. Thank you so much for your wisdom. Mm, thank, you. thank you so much for activating this much goodness. This whole conversation, I was lit up, so open to receive it all. And Thank you for this treat, this gift that you have given us today, which is your presence. Thank you. Mm, thank you. Thank you all for listening. And yeah, just go grab yourself a free meditation. You'll mm -hmm. love every yeah. minute of it. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
Thank you so much for listening to the Make Life Fun Show. I hope you enjoyed yourself and got a little, little gems, little pieces of gold that you are taking to heart, that you are not just listening, but you're gonna do something about it. I want you to be fired up. So yes, so we come once a week, come back, listen to us here. We are on all podcasts, places you listen. We are also on YouTube if you like to watch the show at Josie Wheatman. You can find us at Make Life Fun. And I am so stoked. And also come follow me, come play with me on Instagram at Josie Wheatman. I am dancing. I am showing my sweet baby. (laughs) And we're just having a ball. We're making life fun. And so come hang out with us. And thank you again for listening. Please subscribe to the show follow us, leave us a review because the more you love up on me, other people can find the show and love up on us. And we build this community that is one of love and goodness. Also, I am taking clients. I'm taking one-on-one coaching clients. Like I said, we're talking about Bloom. We have a membership coming up and all the beautiful things. So there is a few ways that you can connect with me on that. So we have my website, which is backrosecoaching.com. You can go on there as well as you can join the mail list. So right now I have a 21 day raise your vibration challenge going on. It's an email challenge completely offhand. You wake up every day and you get these tidbits of goodness that light you up. So why not? It's a 21 day high vibration challenge. It's tools, it's simple, it doesn't require much. Most of them, if you want a little taste, is placing your hand on your heart and telling yourself you love yourself today. So yes, so come hang out with me, jump into my world. I've got you.